Welcome back. Now, Mount Hope's Cappuccino Girl has come home soon. Whilst it's been performed at various theatres across Wales and the UK, the show has a massive connection with Hartley Street, with both Cappuccino Girls and Cappuccino Girls 2 had runs at the Evening Post Theatre, the Coast Cafe, yeah, yeah I knew I was right, yeah, yeah, yeah. and now the Heist, yes. where Cappuccino Girls Two yes. returns. I had trouble well, actually, high street. Ah, now then. The now, now. Was it? So we've gone yes. back now to the original. We've well, gone back to the original. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because we did a bit of a summer season in the Mumbles, down in Austrian, which, yeah. which went very well. We know it. Right, you know it. Well, we thought we knew we it. We do. We know the show. We know the show. We thought up to Christmas now, bring back the original one. But the original one has a following at Christmas time. Does it? Yes, it absolutely it, it, does. It's weird. It is weird. Because yeah. uh, when it wasn't on, somebody rang me up and said, is it on every Christmas? We thought, well, that's a good idea. Mm -hmm. That's a good idea. So there'll be, no, there'll be some little lights, there'll be some tinsel, there'll be some bells, Kev. No. A friend of mine, David Callister, who's often performed at the Grand in Rep, he put up a Facebook uh, status this week saying, do you think dinner theatre will work in the UK? Now, the only one is, I think, is the Mill in, in Reading as a regular dinner theatre uh, venue. And you've kind of found it's, it's work. You're not quite dinner theatre, but you can have a meal, can't you? And you yeah, we're more cocktails, aren't we more now? More cocktails. Yeah. <laughs> We've moved on. Yes, our audience prefer to have a cocktail now. And again, it's this time of the year. Yeah. Yeah, I see. Mm. But it, you're right. It's dinner theatre... You know, the world changes. We were talking about, you know, chapel, pubs, you know, all those things changing. And actually, if you're going to do theatre now, maybe you've got to go out and find your audience. I mean, I think with Cappuccino, it goes, we sort of, we, we're not surprised by who's in the audience anymore, oh, are no, we? we're never surprised. <laughs> <laughs> maybe some of their actions. Can see. But, yeah, it, yeah. you know, the, the dinner theatre, even at the Austrian in Mumbles in the summer, people were coming with their hampers mm -hmm. and setting up, you know, and eating and chatting and really felt inclusive. I love it. I do one night a year. I do a fundraiser in the VIP marquee of the Gower Show. Ooh. And uh, it's on the Friday night before the Gower Show. And people bring picnics and they bring candelabras. <laughs> they bring... It's on guard, yeah. They bring very, very expensive. People like to do that, don't they? Yes, they absolutely. like to have a bit of fun. Yes. Absolutely. Yeah, and it builds in the park. Yeah, and it builds up its own momentum. I mean, Beaujolais is a, is a perfect case of why Cappuccino Girl sort of works in Swansea, because people buy into the whole concept of it being our thing. Yeah, but we had this conversation the other day, nobody buy, drinks Beaujolais. No, they? no. Not exactly. a Prosecco's <laughs> and beers. <laughs> well, actually, nobody drinks Cappuccino. No, they yeah. don't. Because they're all drinking Pink Panthers yeah. and, uh, you know, and, uh, and, and, and Prosecco. Of all the shows, I just kind of know in you, of all the shows that you've written and, and loved, and we've been on, on the journey together of, for many of those, and I've heard your pains and, yes. and, and your, your, your struggles, but this one seems to be a real favourite of yours. You, you find this a real labour of love, don't you? Yeah, I mean, you know, the whole, you know, the whole world that we live in, that things, stories coming out about the way that men treat women. You know, and this musical is, is about trying to empower women. I know it's written by a bloke, uh, and so I have to be very careful about what I assume life is like. But, you know, it's about three girls whose lives look perfect. And you look at all the people who are in the news whose lives aren't perfect now, we're all the same. Uh, and this Cappuccino Girls is about saying, actually, it's okay to be broken, but actually, your friendship. And, and actually, you, you've got a friendship with the girls, haven't you, now? We do. I mean, we have a friendship on stage and we have a friendship off stage. And, you know, life throws curveballs at us when we least expect it. And, um, the, you know, the story, but life is all about the friendship and the relationship and how together we get through it. And of course, it's a bit of fun. It's a musical and it has a happy ending. Um, and life doesn't always, but it, it, it is all about friendship. Yeah, and that's important to say. Life doesn't always have an happy ending, but we... Happy, ah, see, drop the H's. Yes, oh. smile, happy. <laughs> but we, we don't necessarily like to go and see those shows, do we? If, if, if life sometimes is tough, we want to go and see something that takes that's us right. out of that experience. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Yeah. And to be honest, you know, I should really write a, a show about men because men don't talk. That's why the suicide rate in, in our, our age group is so strong. You know, women have that, and it's whether I'm being now judgmental on what women and men do differently, but the figures seem to say that women talk and men don't talk. We do talk. Yeah. About and anything and everything. <laughs> it's okay. That's really it's worrying, okay. Isn't it? As long as it doesn't leave the four, <laughs> the four corners. There. You started as, as writer, producer, and now... You're in the show. Yeah, well, I'm cheap, Kev. Yes. Well, you knew that anyway. I suspect. <laughs> it is funny because, it, you know, keeping this band together, we, we don't get any grants. We don't, we don't ask for any grants. We stand or fall on selling tickets. And so having me in the show is easier than having me not in the show. And but also, you love it. 
Yeah, well, I love it. Oh, yeah, well, I love it as well. Does he love it? Of course, he loves it. What about him? <laughs> do, you, do you do accents? Do you do the Brazilian uh, accent? Yeah, 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 yeah. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to yeah. the Heist Cafe. You know, and then there's uh, there's Tom, fifty grand. You know, it is actually it's a lot of fun to me to get yeah. to get all of my different problems out into the air, <laughs> and I do dance rather well. So they yeah. say. Yeah. This next run of shows now. All, all fundraisers, all charities, all in yeah. so association with charities. Yeah, so we've got four shows. Um, we've brought on board um, a, a girl called Anna Williams, who is a young mum, um, and she's got lots of different friends. And through different things that she's been through in her very young life, um, she's she's wanted to be part of part of the team. And we're fundraising for Hendra Island School. Mm -hmm. Two shows. Um, we're fundraising for the New Mill Foundation. It's a cancer rehabilitation unit and also for the British Heart Foundation. So each show, there is an element of um, fundraising going to be part of it and raising awareness as well for those great charities. So you can see cover your costs and then everything else? Yeah. Absolutely. Of the charity, yeah, they sell absolutely. tickets, great. Everybody wins. And you know, the thing is, if we... It's quite a big job putting the show back on. You know, I'm a busy man, Kev. You are. I'm a busy man. I don't even know why you've got the time. <laughs> <gonna> do. <laughs> but if we don't keep on doing it... The, the show dies, you know, it just needs to be uh, for our own benefit and just needs to be there all the time. And so we'll bring it back next year. We're talking about maybe putting in some odd venues around around Wales next year, doing a little summer season here or there and everywhere. And it just keeps the Capuchin Girls alive. And it just needs one person, that one person who's going to come in and see the show and take it to Vegas. Yeah. And then we can all retire. <laughs> I'll come with you. <laughs> <laughs> Will there be another part to the story? Well, I've, I've started writing The Christmas Carol. So that's, it's a bit of a prequel, so we find out them all, so all, everybody in the show will have to be dressed up as a teenager. You know, we'll, we'll see them before, we'll see them during, and we'll see them afterwards as well. So uh, I, I nearly wrote it for this year, I just ran out of time, so maybe next year will be uh, The Christmas Carol, Cappuccino Girls. Well, we wish you well. Is it just this four days or others leading up to Christmas? No, just the four dates up to Christmas. So we've got Thursday, we open Thursday, 23rd of November, then we're doing the 6th, the 11th and the 20th of December. See, I just do what I'm told. I just do what I'm told. <laughs> very handy to have a lot here. Uh, very, very what's handy. What's going on? How about a song? Bit of a song. We know oh, a song about that, don't we? You know a song? Song? What are you going to sing? Uh, it's a, right. You know, with a musical, it, 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 the song should come out of when the talking ends. Yeah. And this one's about a, a relationship between a husband and wife, Harry and Hillary, and they're trying to remember what was so special about their relationship in the beginning. You're Harry. I'm Harry. Hillary. Hillary. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hillary and Hillary. Okay. Over there. You can go there. Take over there. You go. Take your microphone off. Whatever you want to do. And uh, we'll, we'll have a song. So uh, I'm clapping in advance. So there we are. Malpop, Claire Hanny with us. Uh, both stars of the uh, Cappuccino Girls 2 show. No, sorry, the original Cappuccino Girls show. I'm having a dirty look. Which uh, opens at the heights for a four day run to help raise money for local charities uh, in the next uh, few days. So we wish them well. That's all we've got time for today. We'll be back on Friday with another edition of uh, the Kev John Show here on Bay TV. Mal, Claire, take it away. Do you remember when we met for the first time? Frightened the life out of me. Did I? Yeah. Really? I was terrified. I was so different then, focused and smarter. That's the same woman that I see. Yeah, but look at me. Some days I feel I'm losing my sanity Some days I feel like running away You were the only one who thought I was special You know that is so untrue Everybody said I was a bit of a geek There was no one else who saw my potential Please, there's so much in I thought I'd never get better But you were there And you made me feel stronger Let's show the whole wide world We still dance together Just like the day we vowed We'd stay in love forever Let's prove the cynics wrong Love can last a lifetime Show them that we're still strong we still dance together Don't you be frightened now Cause I'm still right beside you What would I do without your love? You'd be very successful Cause 
we can sell everything I want your dreams to be my dreams Tell me my dreams are in You dream big enough dreams for both of us, girl There was a time I thought I could make it This is our chance, but we're just gonna take it This is our chance, and we've just gotta take it Let's show the whole wide world We still dance together just like the day